Hello my spookly friends again on this another glorious day today I am here with the lovely Paul because today we are going to be investing the old and the new Coventry Cathedral so last time I did this investing like a twat I forgot to press record so yeah let's so without further ado let's go hunting yeah so here we are we are at the new cathedral so we're going to take you in and it's not that busy so we're going to go and have a wander and do some experiment as usual I've got paul hello. with me hello and we are going to go in so let's go hello. thank you it's all right to take do. Yes, there's no additional fee, but you do welcome donations. That's fine, yeah. Have, but no. yeah. Thank you. So, obviously, as you can see, it's we're inside Coventry. Um, I have a direction for us. It's okay. Look at that window. The window is absolutely divine. So, obviously, and obviously we've got that one there. So what the best place to go is further up the bank because that's where I got a lot of response last time. Yeah. So we're just gonna go and walk towards the back. Um, as always, as always, I've got the K2 with me. Um, obviously, once we get a bit nearer, I will switch it on. But just check this out. That cloth has all been handmade. Yeah, I know. It's beautiful, isn't it? So. Yeah, you know, I'm not a religious person, but I find these pages fascinating. They do. Last time I was here, where that cross is, yeah. I stood there and the K2 was absolutely going mental. And I mean, it was going mental. So we're just making our way up, guys to the top um, and then obviously we will switch K2 on and we will go spirit talker and I mean just look at those organs look just the pipes the architecture of this is just absolutely gorgeous so Organ. <coughs> Norwegian organ. So, what I'm going to do now is I've got the I've got the K2. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to switch the K2 on. What I'm going to do, I'm going to put it on the organ, so K2 on, and I'll pop it on the organ, just there. Look. Already it's going off. That's going off already. What it is is cathedrals and churches. Why you have to whisper, I don't know. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to call out and I'm going to see because the K2 is going off. So let me hear the K2. Just there. Okay, so we've got to be a bit quiet, guys. The K2 is there. Is anybody here? Gorgeous, that is. If there are any spirits here, you can hear my voice. Could 
you make that device go off on the organ? Could you make that go off for me? Please, sir, if you're here. Obviously, Paul's got his K2 as well. Are there any spirits here that wish to communicate with us? If so, can you light those lights up? I've got the K2 meter in my hand here, if you'd like to come and light these lights up, please do. <coughs> Obviously, we're going to work along. Take the K2. I think Paul's got the K2. Please, spirits, please come forward. Please come forward to my voice. Please come and speak with us. Are there any spirits here with us now? I wonder if we go up that area, we'll probably yeah. get. Yeah. So we're just going to go and take a take a walk up this area because it's not so busy. We're just gonna. Do you feel anything here at the moment? Not so much. No. But then it could be different than the old one. Yeah. So, we're going up here. I think in the old one, yeah, it got bombed in the blitz. Then yeah. I don't think nobody got killed in that one. Um, I think they said it was either 10 minutes before or after. They would have done something like that. But here I don't. I mean, just look I at mean, that. I mean, it's more peaceful here. That is just absolutely but divine. So they, they, they could wouldn't have been here. I mean, look at that. That is beautiful. Because yeah, during the blitz, it wouldn't have been here, would it? So no. We don't know what was on Boy. this ground at the time. It's always the key to these windows. But this here. When I was last here, this is where the K2 was going mental, going off. So, what I'm going to do, why do you have to talk quietly? I uh, know. Um, this bit what here, I'm gonna do uh, this is to do with the old cathedral. This I'm piece of wood uh, made into a cross. I'm going to put the K2 down here. It's actually falling into the shape of the cross. Spirits here, you can hear my voice. Could you make that device light up for me? My name is Joe, and this is Paul, and we're paranormal investigators. Could you make that could you make those devices go off if you're here? Did that just flicker then? Yeah. Please, if there's any spirits here who can hear my voice. Please come forward and make this device light up. Are you someone who survived the blitz? Yeah. Do you remember the blitz? Am I speaking to a gentleman? Am I speaking to a soldier? Were you someone whose family died in the blitz? Are you a member of the family? Are you the cathedral groundsman, Jock? Please, if you're here, please don't be scared. My name's Jo and this is Paul. If you could just make those devices light up just to let us know that you're here. It's an unusual name, isn't it? Jock. Yeah. Jock. Jock, do you remember this cross? Is this your cross? Please, are there any spirits here that can make that device light up? What I'm going to get you to do is... I don't know if... 
if you want to hold the phone and I'll put the K2 near the cross just to oh, see. Yeah. There might be some energy on that cross. Yeah. If you just get still filming. Yeah. I don't guys. As you can see, Joe's putting the uh, K2 near the cross. Um, this is where there could be some energy. Did you set those lights up for me? Yeah, see if you can get any. You're picking up on anything. Maybe we can have energy somewhere. Yeah. Please, if you're here, spirits, can you make that device light up, please? If you're near to that cross. Paul's just trying to channel some energy and see if there's anything that can bring her. Please. I'm actually getting a picture. Where does your brain? Right. It's coming through now. Your brain is like the middle part of the old cathedral. Please. Well, it, it crashed down into the tread of the cross. Can you make that device on the floor light up if you're here? If there's spirits here, can you make that device light up? K2's just bleeped. <clears throat> Please, can you make those devices light up again? Everything's falling and everything. Cool. It just fixed smoke. You okay? Yeah. Oh, oh. Right, let's go to a different part then. Let's go. Oh, um, let me. Yeah, right, you're when you're in there. Let me get I'm the K2 the then. So obviously that was really interesting. Um, because yeah, obviously. Burning up. Yeah. Not that the side of the fire. So what we're going to do now, guys, is we're going to go into this bit. Um, let me spin. K2 is going up. We are going to go into this bit. Look at the K2. Look at that. K2 
potatoes going mental. Right, so here, if I put the K2 down here, Right. Are there any spirits here? Sorry about that device. If there is, can you make that device light up for me? You alright? Yeah. Oh, I just felt like I was on fire. Katie's okay, going off. Yeah. Please, if you're here, it's okay. You don't have to be afraid. I'm Joan. This is Paul. Did you make that device? There you go, thank you. Is there a spirit attached to this statue here? Is there something attached to that statue? Could you make my device light up again, please? We'd love for you to communicate with us. If you can't communicate with me, you can communicate with Paul. There you go, it's going off again. Would you like to speak to Paul, or would you like to communicate us through another way? Do you want us to talk to you, spirit? Are you a spirit of the faith? There you go, Katie's going off again. Do you mind us being here, spirits? If you see this device in my hand, will you be able to move the dial over? And light up these lights. Who are we speaking to, please? My name's Jo and this is Paul. We'd like to communicate with you, the K2's going off today. Yeah. Try and get his dial all the way around and light the lights up for us. What I'm going to do, guys, is I'm going to move the K2. And I'm going to pop it just here. There you go. And then we can both see it. Spirits, if you're here, can you communicate with us? Can you light up that device if you're here? There you go. Could you try and get his dog to go all the way around and put the lights on? Can you tell us your name? My name's Joe and this is Paul. This device won't hurt you. Please use our energies. Please come and speak with us, spirit. We mean you no harm or disrespect. Well, thank you. Thank you so much. What did that say? Oh. Could you try that again, a bit clearer this time? K2's still going off. There's something here, definitely, because I can feel it. Yeah. Are you a spirit of the faith? Please. There you go, K2's going off again. Please, if you're here, can you tell us your name? Are you Me. trying to push it all the way around before I turn it off? Please, can you speak with us? Give it one almighty push. Please use our energies. Can you speak with us, Spirit? We mean you no harm or disrespect. Do you want us to say a prayer for you? Do you want us to say a prayer? K2 is leaping again. Right, what I'm going to do, guys, I'm going to do, I'm going to go Spirit Talker. K2 is going absolutely mental. I mean, look at it. It is just going absolutely, it's spiking something chronic. Now, we are nowhere near anything electrical um, because it's just a building. So what I'm going to do is 
I'm going to go spirit to walk her and we'll see what comes through there. So bear with me, guys. Are there any spirits here that wish to communicate with us? My name's Joe and this is Paul. Do you like it here? Do you remember the Blitz? K2's going mental, look at that. Yeah, it is. Were you someone who survived the Blitz? You were? Were you someone connected with the Blitz? Did you help people and clear up and everything? Did you help them? Please, Spirit, please come and speak with me. My name is Joe, and this is Paul. Yeah. <sighs> K2, if honestly you can see this, guys, the K2 is going mental. It is completely going off the scale. Please, spirits, please come and speak with us. We mean you no harm or disrespect. Were you someone who survived the Blitz? There you go. That's definitely going off. Were you a soldier? Were you sent out to help Madam. fight? Madam. Oh, okay. I stand correct, I'm sorry. So are we in communication with the lady spirit? Thank you. Yeah, there have been a lot of people here at funerals, wouldn't there? Yeah. There have been a lot of funerals over the years here. Were you a part of the Blitz? Did it affect you? Did you get affected by the Blitz? Did you help? Were you a nurse during the Blitz? Did you lose your home? Did you lose your family? I feel awfully giddy. I feel awfully giddy at the moment now. I need to find out what was on this land before this place. Can you just take the phone part? I feel a bit giddy. I'm just gonna... If you want to ask questions, I'll just do oh. You're not affecting Joe, are you? If you are, could you stand back away from her, please? That just went off then when you said you affected me. Oh, God, I feel giddy. The room's spinning. What's going on? Oh. I am commanding you to step away from Joe. Oh, my God. Do it now, please. Come to me instead. I feel like I'm going to pass out. I'm sorry. It'll be all right, Joe. Fight it. If you need to go out, let me know. I'm going to fight it. This is what I do. Party! <laughs> this is not a party. Whoever you are, I want you to stand away from Joe. Hi. Hi. Hi to you. But I want you to stand away from Joe and come to me. If you're affecting me, can you make those lights go off, Spirit? You're just a bit scaring me, that's all. Spirit, please. We know there is no evil here. There you go. But we need you to stand away from Joe now. I am commanding you. It won't. The K2 keeps going off. It doesn't want to. It's getting stronger. Jesus. Don't panic, Joe. You'll be alright. Don't panic. Don't panic Keep fighting it. Fight! Yes, fight. If this is a negative energy, back off. You're not welcome towards me. There you go. K2's going up. Go away. In the name of the Father, please stand back now. Step away from me, Spirit. Step away from me. Step away from me, Spirit, please. If you were the madam that came forward, and you're the one who affecting Joe, I'd ask you to stand back and come to me. Okay, she's adamant, she's, she's not leaving me. God, this is horrible for me, Joe. Stop it, fight it. Get away from me, please, spirit. Now. I am commanding you in the name of Jesus to stand back away from Joe. God, this whole room is spinning.
and stop it, you're not fight it. You're not welcome here, get away from me. Get away from me. I haven't even got my bracelets on. Shit. Hiding in the dark. You may be hiding in the dark, but I want you to stand away from Joe. I am commanding you. You are not welcome. It's not flashing so much at the moment. Are you feeling okay now? Yeah, my heart's racing. I'll take over, don't worry. If you are that spirit, then come and face me. That's horrible. Well, haven't you got the balls? Provoke it, but the way I'm feeling at the moment, I don't want to. Let me deal with him. All right. Come on, I'm a paranormal medium. I'm not scared of you. Lillian. Hello, Lillian. Are you the one who's affecting Joe? Tall, skinny lady. She's tall, tall and skinny. Mm. And I mean skinny. She's like tall and skinny. Lillian, are you the one who is affecting Joe? recording guys right obviously the spirit was talker was going off um, and I had the horrible feeling I was giddy I had to lay on the floor because something was affecting me um, yeah do you want to just have a brief chat because I'm just feeling still a bit do you just want to tell the group what happened yeah hi guys Obviously, we got in contact with the spirit. Uh, the first word, obviously, was madam. And then we got a lady's name named Lillian. Um, we can't say if she had a connection with them and that was who she was, a madam or what. Um, but we don't know if it was male or female. But it could be more likely it was Lillian. Um, as you can hear when I was commanding it and that. Um, and it didn't want to listen to me. Um, so obviously, um, looking at this situation, I think this was a madam um, back in the day and she was in charge of girls and we know all about that, the illicit behaviour back then of what the girls were doing and uh, how the madam treated them and that. So I've come to that conclusion that uh, that's what it was in the Victorian times around here. There was a madam and that. But anyway, I'll pass you back to Jo because she's sort of getting there now. Um, but she's got my protection anyway, as you would know, and that. Okay, guys, so that... Um, God, look at my face, how red it is. Whoa. What we're going to do is we're going to leave this area because I really don't feel right in this area and we're going to go, um, we're going to go, let me, sorry Doug, we're going to go over into that area there so um, yeah let's go into that area so. So we are in another part of the cathedral, 
And just look at that beautiful artwork there. Okay, what I'm going to do is so I'm going to put the K2. Where can, where's the best place to put the K2? Oh God, where can I put the K2? Are you going to... Perfect. There we go. Case two down there. I don't know whether you can see it. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to call out again and see if there is any spirits here. I think what I'll do is we'll put the, we'll put the K2 down here now. No, we'll put it over there. I'll tell you what, guys. Look, let's put the K2 here. Let's put it there. Right, there we go. It's going off already, look. Right. Are there any spirits here? Lillian, are you still here? You tried to affect me, but it didn't work. Or is the madam still here? Madam Lillian. Is that who you was? You was a madam? Honestly, it's a horrible feeling. Horrible feeling. It's bleeping. It's bleeping a bit. Right, what I'm going to do, guys, again, is obviously, I'm still recovering. Still trying to recover. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go. Um, I'm going to go necro dice. Well, I think Paul's going to go necro dice. K two's yeah. go. K two. Um, and Paul is going to go necro dice. And we're just going to see if Lillian is still here. So. Is that wrong? Okay. See, the joys of paranormal investigating. We have all these different apps. We do, don't we? <laughs> there we go. Let's go. Oh, you got your poor boy. Look at this sneaky bugger, look. Eating a pork pie without me. Anyway, let's get back to the investigation. <coughs> Lillian, are you still here with us? No, which is no. Okay. Is the madam still with us? Boy. Uh, okay. So have we got a young boy with us? That's this fight. There you go, Katie's going off. Area. Is there a little boy in this area? Later. Please, there's a spirit of a little boy. Can you come? There you go, the K2 is just bleeped. We need to give it the choir. K2 is going off. Treat. Do we put them in there? Poor Tommy. <laughs> Please, if you're a spirit of a little boy, can you make those devices? Can you make my device light up? All the pretty colours? Were you we a part of the blitz? Letter. Did you get a letter to say that your mum and dad were with the blitz? Did, did you have to leave your mum and dad, spirit? Did you have to leave your mum and dad? Weapon. Are you a soldier? Are you a small soldier? Since. 
Well, you were told that you were going to be a soldier. So, boy, did they tell you? Nine. Nine or three. Mm. Is there nine spirits here? Was their goal to keep the children safe during the blitz? Was it the goal to keep you safe? Service. Okay, service this this yeah. sort of service, yeah. Were you part of the service? Hello. I think here we're getting a lot of we're getting a lot of mixed emotions here, some mixed positive. spirits. Some, some right, negative. Energy. Yeah, some negative, some positive. You right, are Richard? You, are you a kind of spirit? Sure. So you're okay with us talking to you? Katie's just gone off. Miranda. There you go, Katie. Katie's just gone Hello, off. Hello, Miranda. Miranda, were you a, one of Madam's ladies? Age. Miranda, is it you that's nine years old? That Katie's just beat them. Leader. Miranda, were you a leader of the children? Did you look after the children? That's just bleep then. Katie's just bleep. Lie. Was there a lot of conspiracy with the Blitz? Did a lot of people lie about it? They are. Katie's just bleeped again. 19. Was there 90 people that were injured? Because I think there was more than that. Why is the K2 going off like it is? That's that real weapon. Weapon again. We know there were planes in the air at that night, German planes. And we also know there were British planes. With Are you on about those sort of things with weapons? Nope. Are you on about the weapons you were given to fight? Or the British soldiers that had weapons? Increase. Right, I don't know what's going on here, but the K2's going mental. We're getting lots of mixed emotions coming through. Um, I think there's spirits of people from the Blitz here. I think there's obviously war people here, you know, soldiers. There was a lot of activities that time of night with what was going on. There was a lot of buildings in country being blown up. Was your house one of them? There is a lot of energy here, isn't there? Yeah. There's loads of energy here. Yeah. Did you lose your family in the blitz? It's personal. So obviously they don't want to tell you. If that's as personal, they don't want to tell you. I got so, Paul is still doing the necro dice. Um, it's just come up haunts, look, just come up haunts. So, obviously, there's spirits here that obviously 
haunt the cathedral. I don't know whether they would haunt this cathedral or the old part, but we're going to go to the old part shortly. Um, Just before we close this. I didn't even take that. No. Just before I close this, I'd like to thank you for communicating with us. Colour. It is a beautiful place here. It's very colourful, isn't it? Well, thank you for talking to us, and goodbye. Goodbye. Wow. So that was interesting. We have good so, responses from that. Yeah, the K2, I'm just going to switch K2 off now, because that's not needed anymore. So a lot of that will be good, because it's coming through from the... Yeah. When it told his personal, that would definitely, you know, shut your mouth, keep out of it. Basically. basically, mind your own business, yeah. So we're just going to have a little bit more of a walk. We are going to... This, what we were sitting in, is called the Chapel of Christ in Sethsamine, Maine. So if we go up here, if we go up this way... What I'm going to do, if I can get Richard to hold the phone, what I'm going to do is going to light a candle in respect of people from the Blitz who obviously lost their lives and everything. So I'm going to light a candle um, just to know that we're thinking of them. Seems like that's what I always do. If I can get the bloody thing to light her up. Hold it at the top of the flame. Hold it at the top. There we go, a little bit of the flame. No, I'll do it the good old fashioned way. Very echoey. So obviously I'm taking over the phone now. It's very echoey, it's very gorgeous, but honestly, um, look at this one. Beautiful. I don't know, but there's a nice view of Coventry. Can't see much, but you're not missing much anyway. But yeah, so that's really good. Um, so this is obviously still the new cathedral, but what we're going to do shortly is we are going to go to the old one. Um, yeah, so we'll leave it the there now, and then I'll take you to the old building. So, back in a bit, guys. Okay, so after my little escapade, I've had something to eat. I've had a drink. No, I haven't had a drink, but I've had something to eat, and I feel absolutely fine now. So, now we have brought you to the old cathedral. And yes, I'm not attempting it because I'm not the healthy, but there is 180 steps in that building there you go in there you can actually climb all the way to the top now i'm not going to do that not that i'm scared of heights but i'm just not going to do that today but um yeah let me just give so this is all 
part and if we just quickly walk out here there is a haunted building and it's St Mary's Guildhall and we are literally just opposite there you go that's the Guildhall <coughs> now excuse me guys sorry but that's the Guildhall and that is one of the most haunted buildings in Coventry it is there's a monk that walks around and there's also a couple of little spirit children that walk around and yeah so we're back in the old part <clears throat> the boys are having a bit of a chat but yeah so I don't think there's any spirits here but I'll just show you the give you a quick walk around a quick brief um, that's the memorial chapel and you can imagine what this would have been like when it was actually the church and it really is a shame that it did get blitzed because it would have been absolutely <clears throat> amazing and divine to see and if we walk along here I'm sure there are pictures of what the cathedral used to look like. And yet I presume <clears throat> that's what it used to look like. And obviously that there is now. We are walking over to where that is so let's have a walk over here and obviously this was the altar <clears throat> now as you can see absolutely beautiful here the sanctuary Obviously, you can't go in, but a little bit of reading there about the history of the place. And obviously, obviously we can't go near the altar because of the chain fence, but look at that. That is absolutely beautiful. So, I'm going to pan you back around. And <clears throat> go a bit further. And I don't know, but I mean, just look at that, that's beautiful. And obviously, a nice little cubby hole kind of thing. This is the Merchant's Chapel, um, old historical commentaries. So like I say, there's, I don't think there's any spirits here, not in the old part anyway, it's more in the new, so, <clears throat> yeah, so that's Coventry Cathedral, um, yeah, so it's all, and at the moment the weather is still on our side, it's not too hot and it's not cold and it's not rain it's it's absolutely beautiful and yeah so I don't know where the next investigation today is going to take us if we do another one today I don't know um, but yeah so until the until the next time And yeah, we'll leave it there. So from me, Richard and Paul, we are going to say stay safe, be good, happy hauntings, and we'll see you on the next adventure. Bye.